This is part five of the lesson, the punishment of not fearing God. Okay, now I'm going to get into more information and details of the reward of wisdom. Okay, let's go to Proverbs chapter two. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding. And if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. When you act like you're fine, it's, just, it's the same as when you were trying to work two jobs and three jobs trying to buy a car and you know, you, you, you want to get all the clothes and the money and the shoes and the women, whatever it is, when you look for Christ, when you look for wisdom as for silver and for gold, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Let's get down to verse 12. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men from men whose words are perverse. As we read in chapter one, first, as we read in chapter one, uh, verse 10, my son, if sinners entice you, do not give in to them. All right. See, a lot of things is going to go into, into the earth because, you know, again, that man is, uh, man is, you know, we're, we're made, we, we, we're naturally wicked. Um, and I like verse five, it says, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Matter of fact, that just striped up a scripture in my mind. Let's go to Matthew chapter seven, Matthew chapter seven. Verse seven. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seeking ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Let's go to Proverbs chapter five, uh, chapter two, verse five, as we read before. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. And but you, the way you understand the fear of the Lord and, and find it is in verse three and four. And if you call out of insight and cry aloud for understanding, cry out. You have to ask. You have to cry out. That's what Matthew chapter seven says. Verse seven. And if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure. Because people, they get into treasures and silver. They looking for that like, man, all day, all night. They, they not even trying to eat, you know, because they're with that money. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. And I love that. That's why I read it over because it makes so much sense. You have to put in the same or more effort into reading his word and, and showing love. Not for, not the love of money. Seeking you should find. Verse 7. Matthew chapter 7 says. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 says. And it asks and it shall be given you. Seeking you shall find. Knocking it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. Seek. What does it say here? In Proverbs chapter 2 verse 5. Then you, then you will understand the fear of the Lord. And find the knowledge of God. You have to find it. You have to look for it. You have to want it more than silver and gold. All right. And I want to really elaborate on that because that's important. You have to lay down. And I say this a lot because that's the, that's the key. The key is lay down your life. It's like a skeleton key, uh, a skeleton key to everything that I say. Lay down your life. Lay down your life for him. He laid, he laid his life down for us. And that's what we have to do. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 2. He who walks is upright, fears the Lord, 
but he who whose ways are devious despise him. That's crystal clear. Let me read it again. He who walks is upright, fears the Lord, but he who ways are devious despise him. So if you're a devious person and you, you're you're not living according to the scriptures and you don't have any reverence if, reverence to God. You're devious. You're despising him. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get into the part and I'm going to go the, the next part we get into. Uh, I'm going to elaborate on, you know, those who rationalize living wicked. All right, look out for the next part.